do the checklist. We're going to do the startup checklist. Carb heat. Beacons on. Do nav strobes. Mixture. We don't have a mixture. Throttle. Brakes. Prop clear. Masters on. Mag set for start. And then we want to look for oil pressure. And we got oil pressure. And then you can go to a screen that shows all engine gauges. Lamps retract, avionics on, set. Get our GPS going here. It'll take a few minutes to show the weather. Do a run up. This is the run up checklist. We've got the brakes checked, got the fuel on, trim for takeoff. We want to check our flight controls. Then we have our instrument check, mixture. We run the power up to 1700. Seatbelts, doors, we're ready to go. Okay, we're going to set our altimeter. Airport here is 822. 822. And we have different screens we can look at. This shows our volts, our outside temperature, and our flight times. This screen shows our fuel quantity and our fuel flow. This screen here shows us our flight time and our hobs and power meter. screen with the larger on the engine instruments. Still shows the flight. This is just a flight only screen. And what features are on this screen? Uh, you have your airspeed, your BSI, your compass, your altimeter, your attitude indicator, and your ball. And then you do have, we have in this one, you have your angle of attack. Looks like our weather's on the screen now. Show in the front, some clouds overhead. Let me see if I can see what weather's out there. Scale it out. Pretty good.
everything that's on this main screen here. Okay, we have our flight instruments, which is our airspeed, which is a tape airspeed. And we have our VSI. And we have our altimeter, our ball, and our attitude indicator. And then we do have the compass at the top. And over on the right side, we have all our engine gauges, which is the tag. Oil pressure, oil temp, our CHTs, and our EGTs, and our fuel left and right tank in gallons per hour. Okay, what else do we have on the instrument panel outside of the Dynon here? We have our elevator trim switch and indicator. The Dynon now has the trim indicators in the system, so this part is obsolete. We have our flap switch, which the Dynon now has a flap indicator in the system. We have our throttle and our power panel distribution with all our switches and circuit breakers. We have our intercom. SL40 radio, 496 GPS, which has XM weather and radio for those long cross-country flights. And we have our key switch, ignition for left and right, carb heat, and the jabber has a choke system instead of a priming system. The Garmin GTX327 transponder, which will talk to the Dynon in 496. Today we don't need the carb heat or cabin heat. We do have cabin heat. And then we have a 12 volt plug. Our headset jacks down here for our headsets. Okay. You have different screens or pages. The screen here is just for terrain. Yeah, this screen here which is your airspeed or your ground speed, an HSI, altimeter, VSI, and turn coordinator. The screen here is uh, your uh, waypoint, which we have ours in MYJ for Mexico. This screen here is all your flight times, fuel times, and a compass. This is your XM radio. So you can pick your favorite stations. Do this. Do the 80s today. Then you're back to the main screen. And then we do have uh, get to the weather. We can go to the weather, get radar, satellites, then we can go to the most important, TFRs. And the winds too, no? and the winds. There's the winds.